Hi guys, hope you all are well and welcome back to the Shoms Garage YouTube channel. In the last video, we had seen the setup and installation of my air compressor and my air system in which I had shown you my filter regulator unit and the plumbing that I have done for the air fittings. Here's just a short recap video of the same thing. You can see that the air line goes in through here. There's a regulator unit with a filter in the middle and two outlets, one before and one after. So a few days ago after the air compressor had completely filled up and I had connected the uh, pipes and left it. Uh, within a few hours I noticed that the compressor had uh, become empty. The tank had become empty. When I checked further I realized that there are a few leaks at the junctions over here uh, so in this video we're going to show you how we can stop these leaks prior to fitting these brass and steel fittings I had used Teflon tape or PTFE tape that is what it is referred to technically to seal the threads before um, uh, tightening them but however there seems still to be a leak I have taken some soapy solution in a spray bottle. You can see, I have taken a spray bottle in a spray bottle and mixture in a spray bottle. And I have joint mein, we are spraying the soapy solution. So spray the soapy solution liberally over the entire joints. And as you can see uh, quickly that there are uh, bubbles forming at the T junction and at the inlet pipe. So as you can see here where my fingers are pointing you can see bubbles forming quite rapidly so that means there is a leak present here the soapy solution helps us in easily identifying leaks in an compressed air system now let's look at the other side whether there are leaks present there as well so as you can see on the outlet side there is also bubbles here which is coming from the double nipple adapter that I have used that is the quarter inch NPT double nipple I'll spray some more soapy water solution to try and pinpoint where the leak is coming from so as you can see that the leak is coming from this point here when I press my finger down on the bottom uh, the bubble is expanding so there are quite a few leaks in the system uh, which is causing inefficiencies and uh, loss of pressure in the long run so in this video we are going to be looking at how these leaks can be solved uh, and stopped permanently as i mentioned to you guys earlier we had used uh, teflon tape on all the parts however in this video we'll be using loctite 542 which is a thread sealing compound and it is much better suited for high pressure applications and for sealing threads especially in hydraulic or pneumatic air systems so the first thing you need to do is obviously take out the entire filter regulator unit and all the fittings for the purpose of this project we'll need a few wrenches an adjustable wrench and of course your thread sealing compound and the one that i'm using in this video is loctite 542 the first thing that you need to do is obviously disassemble the entire unit that you have so that means take apart all the joints and all the fittings let's just fast forward the video while that happens तो आप देख सकते हैं फ्रेंड्स अभी मैं पूरा यूनिट को छोटा किया हूं इसमें से निकला है फिल्टर ड्रायर यूनिट फिल्टर रेगुलेटर यूनिट दो बॉल वाल्व काफी सारे डबल निपल एक टी काफी सारे यूनियन और प्रेशर गेज सो गाइस द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट हमें नेक्स्ट स्टेप में पुराने टेफ्लॉन टेप को अच्छी तरह से 
हर एक पीस से निकालना है क्लीनलीनेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज वी हैव टू एंश्योर टू रिमूव द एंटायर ओल्ड टेफलॉन टेप दैट इज देयर ऑन ऑल द फिटिंग सो लेट मी जस्ट फास्ट फॉरवर्ड थ्रू दैट वाइल आई रिमूव एंड क्लीन दम so guys now you can see all the old teflon tape has been removed completely from all the fittings the, all the fittings are completely clean and all the threads are clean as well make sure to remove all old traces of teflon tape from all the fittings that you can find uh now we're going to be applying the loctite so the loctite is a liquid thread sealant a liquid thread sealant is much better in air systems as well so we have to use a couple of drops of the loctite thread sealant on all the threads so ensure to coat the entire surface of the threads completely with the thread sealant as you can see and once that is done you have to first hand tighten it with your hand and then proceed to tightening it with the appropriate spanner So the product that I'm using that you can see in front of you is called Loctite 542 which is a thread sealant uh so a thread sealant is used in the place of traditional teflon tapes wherein teflon tape can contaminate the air system and the loctite instead uh is a liquid and it will dry to form a solid so hence there is no chance of any loose tape coming out and blocking the lines Loctite is also uh, very reliable, and that's one of the primary reasons of me choosing to use this. so in the manner that you see in front of you you we must assemble all the brass and steel parts with loctite we have to coat all the threads evenly in loctite and then first hand tighten it then proceed to tightening it with a spanner or a wrench of your choice we don't need to over apply the loctite but we must ensure that the entire thread all around is covered completely in the loctite and then we must tighten it immediately now we shall assemble all the fixtures the similar way that we took it out along with the loctite uh, i'll fast forward the video now and we'll see how it looks like once everything has been assembled properly So guys now you can see the completed and assembled filter regulator unit in front of you now let's go install it and check out the response So I'll also like to talk about like Loctite 542 which I have installed in this video I know I touched upon it briefly but uh, I don't think that was enough So Loctite 542 is designed for locking and sealing of metal pipes and fittings as well as other cylindrical metal assemblies the product cures when confined in the absence of air in between sort of loose fitting metal surfaces and prevents loosening and leakage due to shock or vibration so here you can see guys i have reinstalled the filter regulator unit i have changed the orientation of the pipe slightly and the system is already pressurized i have connected the 8 mm pu tubing to the compressor and you can see that the compressor already has a quite a bit of air pressure in it and the system is already pressurized here i'm opening the outlet pipe to just show you guys that the system is pressurized and i'm not just saying it for the heck of it and now let's go back and hit it with our soap water solution and check out if there are any leaks so here i'm back again with the soap water solution i'm spraying it liberally on the fittings and on the joints and as you can see guys uh i had let the uh the joints cure for about 
an hour or so and I'm spraying it with soap water after an hour and even with a fully pressurized system there is no leak anywhere whatsoever even in the parts that were leaking significantly last time because of the Loctite there is absolutely no leakage so this is a very great product and it has the thumbs up from me um, so hope you guys like my video and do let me know in the comments if you have any questions and thanks for watching guys